The Medical Device Research Institute is a collection of researchers who come together to develop medical devices. We have some of the leading minds in Australia in terms of engineering and also in educating. Medical devices really covers a very broad range of things and it will go from rehabilitation devices, assistive technologies, through biomechanics and new implants, um, through to the devices that you find in the hospital, the kind of monitors that, that um, measure your heart rate or perhaps you know um, other physiological function. The Institute is part of our uh, plan to focus our research around areas in which we have strength and in, around areas in which we want to develop further strength. One of the ways in which the University is trying to build its research is our program we have called uh, Strategic Research Professorships. We uh, pick areas that we want to support, that we think we have the, uh, the capacity to grow, and we scour the world for, for experts in that area. The thing that attracted me to Flinders was the broad range of orthopaedics that's going on uh, in Flinders and Adelaide in general. General, there is a willingness to collaborate and there's a kind of a small community feel to the kinds of work that's going on here and that really just means it's very easy to talk to people and actually get work up and running quickly. My project's quite multidisciplinary and so um, uh, the good thing about being a part of the Institute is that I've been able to um, have access to the resources and equipment that I need. Um, the equipment that I use actually is um, the only one of its type in Australia, which is really quite exciting. Some of the benefits of being with an institute mean that you can be paired in a mentoring scheme, which means someone who is a lot more experienced than you can give you advice through your career, which is fantastic. You can also have expertise outside your area for grants, which again would really help and boost the grant application. And the last thing that really does help a lot is the networking activities within the institute as well. As a researcher, it's just really good to be um, recognised as being a part of a research institute where everyone's doing really similar um, sort of research and it's, um, I guess it's, it forms a part of your professional identity as well, which I think is really important. The things that we can offer within the MDRI are uh, excellent supervision uh, through leading academics in their given research fields, but also the fact that other researchers are working in these areas and so there's a supportive collaborative environment actually between the researchers. Karen and I have been working on developing a simulator both for examination of the nasal cavity and also performing uh, sinus surgery. The advantage of this particular simulator is it uses robotic arms with uh, what we call haptic feedback, which is where the, um, the doctor who's using the simulator gets real forces transmitted back into the hands as if they were actually performing the procedure on a real patient. One of the big advantages of collaborating with the Institute is to be able to see the research translate into the clinical environment environment and through the connections uh, the Institute's got with industry to see those initial research ideas translate into a final product which makes its way into the, the clinical marketplace and to work with a device that you've actually been involved in developing, uh, it's, it, it's, a, it's a great feeling. We've always had a very close relationship with industry, particularly in the medical devices space. Um, one initiative that we've put it together is the Medical Device Partnering Program, which has been designed really to, to kick-start relationships between researchers, industry and the clinical community. NVT Systems are a local Adelaide company who came to us to ask for some assistance to try and enhance their product range. We produced a tool that's used for assessment and training of people with vision loss from brain injuries. They need to be able to use their vision to read and to be able to view computer screens. And we thought the best way to go about that was to develop a touch screen application. The benefit to us financially, it's been huge. We've got a lot of um, information without a huge outlay and we've got a new product as part of our range, which adds value to our company. It adds enormous value to our company. The future for the Institute is, is very bright. We are growing, we're taking on new staff, we're looking at, to expand and get new resources and new equipment, and we will be the national leader in medical device research and development.